Hey guys, CyberCon11 here, and welcome back to another episode of Wizard101. We are currently in episode 5, and when we left off, we finally gained access to Firecat Alley, Triton Avenue, and Cyclops Lane, while also coming across an enchanted book that we are going, and I'm going the wrong way, that we need to go to the library because there is a student that knows his stuff about enchanted books, so we have no idea, really, if it is something good or bad. I, I don't know. It's not like I played the game or anything. You say Olivia Dornwillow found this book on Unicorn Way? Well, I know it is not one of our books, but we don't have any with this kind of dark leather binding. Hmm. It must be enchanted. I cannot pry it open no matter how hard I try. Someone used some serious magic to seal this. They must not want anyone reading what is in it. Boris utters some words under his breath, but nothing happens to the book. Wow, this magic is strong. I think you should take this to Edmaster Ambrose. He should be able to open it. It must contain some dark secrets to be sealed with such powerful magic. And I think I also had a little thing too for the librarian. You say you are returning a book that someone dropped? You are quite a good sport to take time out of your day to do that. Thank you for doing that. Oh, hang on there. This book does not belong to the library. Inside the cover, it states property of Sabrina Greenstar. She probably dropped it on her way to the fairgrounds. You best give it to her yourself. All right, b before I do that, might as well send the book to Ambrose. And I'm pretty sure you guys already know what's going to happen w watching the other point of view from my other channel. Which I would imagine that, or that some of you guys may have already been a player of this game. For all I know. You say that this book was dropped on Unicorn Way by some stranger. It is sealed with powerful magic. This does not bode well. The headmaster uses his wand to create a force field around the book. As he speaks his words of power, the book suddenly bursts into flame and is consumed. By Bartleby. I'm glad I used a protection spell on it. That book had a trap spell on it. I think they knew that it would eventually be brought to me. If I were to guess, I would say this book was the work of Malister, beyond guard. For I am sure there will be more dangers ahead for us. Be brave, young wizard. I want you to introduce yourself to Diego, the duel master. He manages the arena. The arena is just inside the entrance to Unicorn Way on the right. All right, but we're not going to take care of that. I think we'll do dueling Diego in the next episode. But we're going to take care of the other quest we have in Wizard City with the guard that we have to check on, which might as well equip that quest right now. Talk to Private Orion, and maybe we'll have a better cloak. And I mean, I do like this one. The cape flaps around on nice and silly and pretty. But yeah. Which I'm not going to go to Diego. Yet. Which I just love how efficient this broom has been ever since killing that boss, which is why another reason I wanted to record for a while. So, woohoo! Because I get stuff done quicker and we get to squeeze in more missions or more f entertaining footage. Which, it, it is a shame that this thing will eventually disappear and that it's not permanent as much as I wish it could. But, oh well, w w what more can I do? Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? It's good to be back at my old house now that I've cleared it of skeletal pirates. Unfortunately, now there are too many outside. I'm stuck. If you defeat enough of those skeletal pirates, I can make a run for it. You'd be a lifesaver. Alright, so gotta clear some of those pirates. Oh, oh, almost ran into the wrong enemy. 
Oh, come on, there's a chance that this will work. Pirate. Yep. Oh, wait. What? Um, I think he's AFK. It's either that or I feel like he's trying to trick me into... Into staying... It, like, into being in the circle. Because he's not involved in this battle whatsoever. Which just, just looks weird. Two guys sharing the same circle in the middle of a battle that I just won in. Alright. <coughs> note to self, readjust my mic when I'm about to cough. And it's this guy again. Hey. Blake Winter Rider. skeleton to go and I think I'm gonna join in with that battle yeah I am I hope I hope that I'll get included for that kill if they get it before me kill it. Besides, that should be my job. Don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't- oh you jerk. Okay, got another ghost. What the? Oh wow! How did? How does that happen? How? How was I the only one that left that? But at least I hope this causes a separate ring. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh, this will be a one-hit kill. Wait, actually, how would this hat look? A little more fancy. But let's go back to Prize Run. And I don't want to get tangled up in that. Only want the heal. No! Oh, wow. That, that actually scared me. But I think I could take her. Yeah. Yeah, I could take her in a one hit. Did I ever use this yet? I don't think so. And way to introduce the spell. <laughs> Finally it works. And... Explode. And what are you? Are you the same hat? Nope. You, well, yeah, you're the same hat, but in blue. Thanks for clearing the way, young wizard. I should be able to make it back all right. Thanks for checking on me. Tell Private Connolly I'm doing well. All right. Let's head back. It looks weird whenever some player gives himself a first name but not a last name. 
we know now that I mentioned it, there could also be a co another Colin Wild Breeze. Or forgot. Was that my last name in this thing? Uh, yeah, Kyle, Colin Wild Breeze. Glad to hear Orion is doing well. Say, can you check up on someone else for me? I usually see Dorothy out shopping by now, but I fear she's too afraid to leave home. She's just down the road a bit, and she usually keeps her lights on. She doesn't like all the lost souls roaming around. Can't say that I blame her. I'm getting a matching outfit, which I find kind of interesting. But yeah, let's, let's go check on Dorothy. That's pretty sick. Wait, can I see the name of that again? I I actually want to know the name of that. Level 100, that's cool. Um, Man, okay, I, I can't pronounce that. But just look at all the awesome things that y you guys are able to get in this game. And I know that you don't understand it. And some of these things, I think, are new to the game. Because some mm -hmm. of these I haven't even heard of. Which I think I might want to research Congratulations. later. Congratulations! You have just earned your first badge. Not exactly. Each badge will give you a title that you can proudly display below your name tag. Oh yeah, I forgot if about that. If you have multiple badges achieved, then you can choose which one to display by opening your character sheet and clicking on the one you wish to show. Not every title is as easy to gain as the one you have gotten. Good luck in the tougher challenges. All right, so uh, let's see what some of the badges I got. Yeah, so only here, hero unicorn way, I guess. There, so that'll be under my name. So wait. Oh yeah, I forgot we gotta talk to Dorothy. Which if you guys may not tell from the name under the quest arrow, that's supposed to be the Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz. The untold part of the Wizard of Oz, Dorothy. Dorothy somehow got involved in Wizard 101, even though there is a very massive difference in the years, which she hasn't aged a bit. Oh, hello! You say that Private Conley was worried about me? He always does fret so. I'm alright, but I wish someone could do something about all those ghosts outside. Sometimes I wish Auntie M could join me here. I'd feel better with her around. Say, I was having my friends over for dinner, but they are running late. I fear for their sake with all those ghosts roaming around. Could you check up on them? My two friends live on this street, down towards the park area. Look for a house with a light on in the window. You can't miss it. Yeah, there's a bunch of those around here. And why do you have a tiny door? That's one of the things I forgot to question. What is a tiny door even for? And I didn't mean to freestyle because I don't do stuff like that in a while. Okay, I'm, I'm not even gonna try. Even though I'm just glad that this is a simple quest. You know what she should have said? She said, I said, find the house with the blue light. What? You say that Dorothy is looking for us? We were just about to be on our way. Oh, I told you we should have left earlier. Now we've gone and made her worry about us. I'm sorry, but I cannot find my oil can. You wouldn't want me season up on the way there. Oh dear, we always go through this. Can you return to Dorothy and tell her we'll be running late as usual? Alrighty. safe and sound? It's good to know that they are just running late. Now I won't have to worry. 
I always fear a wicked witch might show up and whisk them back to her castle. This land is so strange. Not like back at the farm. But I do like it here. Headmaster Ambrose is such a nice wizard. And my new friends are nice too. I'd say that in all, this place is as fun as a barrel of flying monkeys. Would you say hello to Private Connolly for me? Okay, this this just seems kind of weird. I I guess somehow Wizard 101 got the privilege to do this without any copyright. And it feels kind of weird. So like what in this game? I guess. In I guess. Oh wow! I'm sorry. I'm trying as my hardest not to have a brain fart right now, but I guess it's a storyline changer. Now I bet the writer said it'd be so funny to use the references to the movie as a joke, even though I don't see why I'm being such a grump about this. Because I'm usually not kind of grumpy about stuff like that. Glad to hear Dorothy is doing well. And I guess that was it. So. Oh, and I got the ruby slippers. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. And also, this is the end of the episode, you guys. This has been, I think this has been episode 5. I have no idea. I lost count. But don't forget to check out my Instagram and website down below. And support the video by leaving a like and comments. But, uh, yeah. And, come on, come on, mouse. Let me do, let me do, the, let me do a joke. I don't want to... I'm going to have to unplug my mouse. Yeah, I have a wireless mouse. It could be a real pain. And and there 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 we go. There's no channel other like mine. There's no channel other like mine. There's no channel other like mine. <laughs>